Hello and thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. I'm Christina Marujos. Joining me today is Senior Investment Analyst Rafi Boyajian. We'll be looking at the U.S. retail sales. Essentially, it's the last piece of the puzzle before the Fed meeting at the end of the month. We're expecting this report to be positive. However, we're also expecting retail sales to have slowed in June. Uh, that is correct. We're expecting a bit of a slowdown in retail sales growth uh, in June. Uh, we're also going to have industrial production numbers as well on the same day. They're all also anticipated to be somewhat weaker in June. Uh, overall, though, U.S. data hasn't been too bad, uh, despite that uh, markets are uh, widely expecting the Fed to cut interest rates at its July policy meeting. Uh, so if we do get any big surprises uh, in these uh, numbers, particularly the retail sales ones, uh, given that retail sales is a big component uh, of a U.S. GDP, uh, there's likely to be a big reaction uh, in financial markets. Which brings me to my next question, especially given the hints that Fed Fed Chairman Jerome Powell gave in his testimony before uh, Congress last week. Do you think the retail sales report will determine whether we'll see an aggressive 50 basis uh, points rate cut? Uh, well, they could if you do see uh, big disappointing numbers, uh, which would uh, raise fear, fears of a recession uh, that would uh, only fuel uh, expectations that the Fed will cut interest rates by a big 50 basis uh, points at the July uh, meeting. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if we do see uh, better than expected numbers and like we saw with the jobs uh, report as well, uh, that could uh, do the reverse and uh, pair back those expectations. I see. And what about the dollar? It's been under pressure lately, especially after Jerome Powell's comments last week. What is the short term outlook for the dollar? Uh, well, the dollar is clearly facing some uh, downside pressure given uh, that uh, the Fed will be uh, one of the first major banks, uh, central banks, to cut interest rates. Uh, so uh, if we do see uh, any weakness in the incoming numbers, uh, the, the dollar is for sure likely to come under pressure. Uh, but uh, given uh, if we do get a mixed num set of numbers in the coming days, uh, uh, investors would uh, might prefer instead to pay more attention to the Fed speakers. Uh, so far, uh, we haven't had, uh, although Jerome Powell has been fairly dovish, others, other policymakers haven't been quite so clear uh, about uh, whether they see the need for a rate cut. Uh, so there could potentially be some upside for the dollar if uh, some uh, FOMC members aren't quite as dovish as what markets perceive them to be. Rafi Boyajian, thank you for joining thank me you. today. And thank you for watching us at XM.com.